Retailers, including provincial liquor stores, are readying themselves for October 17th, the day cannabis becomes legal in this country. But at least one clinical psychologist is sounding the alarm over how marijuana is being marketed. Dr. Simon Sherry says the Nova Scotia Liquor Commission is promoting cannabis in an irresponsible manner through the use of language on some of its signs. He says promoting pot as a way to relax and unwind is misleading and says the NSLC is promoting cannabis like a health product without talking about potential consequence, consequences. Rather, Simon Sherry is joining us tonight. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. So first of all, what do you dislike about the signs? I have two major concerns about these signs. The first is that these signs are misleading. Mm -hmm. They present an unduly favorable view of cannabis and they put that favorable view front and center. It would be very possible to present more accurate factual information to Nova Scotians. My second major concern about these signs are that they glamorize cannabis use. These signs deliberately create a picture of cannabis as something that's associated with recreation, relief, and vitality. Mm -hmm. Now, the NSLC argues that the classifications, they're meant to educate consumers about how different strains affect the mind and body, and they say not explaining the experience, in their words, would be a disservice and even a bit dangerous to consumers. What do you make of that response? I think that as an educational curriculum, the NSLC's signage and information is sorely lacking. Imagine, if you will, that an educator came into our children's schools to teach them about cannabis, and during those lessons, all they did was mention that this drug can have potentially favorable outcomes like relaxing or enhancing experience. Mm -hmm. The NSLC is only telling Nova Scotians part of the potential impact of cannabis. And let's be clear, there's a wide range of responses to using cannabis, and cannabis can impact people quite differently based on their size, based on what other substances they're using, based on the potency of the drug, and numerous other factors. Would you like to see marijuana branded like tobacco with warnings? What I, would you like to see? I absolutely think that we should be taking a cautious, fact-based approach. We should be drawing upon evidence, and that should include warnings. There are some Nova Scotians who should be actively avoiding cannabis. These are individuals with a personal history of addiction. These are also individuals with a family history of addiction. Mm -hmm. We need to be putting out responsible evidence-based information. And I fully trust in Nova Scotians and their ability to treat cannabis as a personal choice but we need to be informing Nova Scotians properly and fully. Do you think there's an argument to be made here about creative license when it comes to retail and merchandising? I think that retail and merchandising are very relevant words in this conversation. Mm -hmm. What the NSLC has done is they've taken a retail merchandising approach to cannabis. The problem is that cannabis isn't a benign substance and cannabis isn't a health product and cannabis doesn't have the sort of therapeutic effects that the NSLC is advertising. When you look to available evidence, you see that cannabis is linked to depression, anxiety, suicidality, impaired driving, many cognitive problems, many health problems, and a range of other difficulties. Has the NSLC responded to your criticisms? They haven't responded directly to me, although I'd invite a conversation with them on this issue. How about the provincial government? I've heard nothing from the provincial government. And we do know you've reached out to the federal government there as well. Um, do you support the legalization of cannabis? I do support the legalization of cannabis. What I'm calling for, though, is an intelligent, evidence-based approach to cannabis legalization. There's actually an opportunity here to improve the health of Nova Scotians but the NSLC and our government are going about cannabis legalization in such a way that they're going to compromise the health of Nova Scotians. Now, you've also had some harsh words for the provincial government, and I'm going to quote on this. The Nova Scotia government's approach to cannabis legalization seems more influenced by Cheech and Chong than by evidence and guidelines. Can you explain that quote? I can. There's a large evidence base that Nova Scotia might be drawing upon. 
there are numerous guidelines that Nova Scotia might be drawing upon, and yet our approach to cannabis legalization is proceeding in ignorance of that evidence and those guidelines. Okay. All right. It's, appreciate your time tonight. Thank you for having me. All right. Dr. Simon Sherry is a clinical psychologist and professor at Dalhousie University.